Hello and welcome everyone. I am Aaron the Black Dragon and this is Pokemon Shining Pearl. Everything is totally normal and nothing is wrong. With the exception of everything is wrong and nothing is normal. This is Danish. You may wonder what happened. Well the answer to that is easy. This is a mock team. I lost the last recording. One whole hour and one full progress of Pokemon completely lost, thrown out the window. And since this game auto saves, and I definitely need to readjust it so that nothing bad can happen anymore, I lost everything that I recorded. So I had to mix up this whole bunch of mock team here with Luthish and Camillaish and none of the other Pokemon and had to get them ready so that I could sit down and record essentially what we lost. I had another idea of what I could do but this was the fastest way to actually do something. So what have I lost? Well everything that I did inside of Eterna City. Which was, I kept ignoring this place here for the beginning. This is the underground man's house digging down for adventure. We're gonna explore that next episode. For this episode we're gonna go through the town and also we will go and fight the gym leader. But first, what's up with you? Have you seen our building? Team Galactic is so stinking rich that we can have one built instantly. A lot of people probably can do that, but whatever floats your goat. My friend said Team Galactic took his favorite Pokemon away. I don't think he's telling the truth. Team De Galactic looks so cool, they don't look like common ruffians. They are common ruffians, my friend, though. Red red Rick's, Rickshaw's Cycle Shop. Get on and ride. That sounds suggestive. I like it. Hmm. Nobody here except for the kid. Guess I can just take, take whatever bike I want. The manager's gone off to the Team Galactic building and hasn't returned. Wonder what's holding him up. Probably Team Galactic if I had to guess. Also, everything will work just the same as always. Just ignore for this week that we're not Fanny, but Fanny-ish and that everything is a little bit wrong. As long as we can look past it, we're gonna be totally fine. Hi there! They say this is an old city. It doesn't look it though, not with all these tall buildings. The Eternal City is not anything like it was before, way back in the day. Is that something good or something bad? My friend, you need to specify yourself here. Since the Team Galactic building went up, the city's atmosphere has gotten a all creepy and tense. I don't know what these people are doing up in that place. Probably nothing good if I had to guess. Eternal Condominiums. Name rating services available. Well, my name rooms are on fleek. Does anyone still say Fleek? Why did that come to mind? Hello, hello, I'm the official name rater. Want me to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? No, but thank you. I see. Please come visit again. This is where you can rename your Pokemon if the need should arise. I'm happy that with future games they just let you switch out the names of your Pokemon ever and you want and you don't need a specific person in a specific town to let you do that. Don't know why that was a thing to begin with. Excuse me, but do you got that Pokemon named Whistle? When I traded for a Chatot? I have nothing. Sorry. Uh, but if you change your mind, let's totally trade some Pokemon. In the original recording, I was debating on whether or not I trade in Tails for the Chatot. And then I was like, nah, I'm gonna hold up. We're gonna keep Tails, I'm gonna go and catch another Whistle at one point, and then we might trade them around so that we get the Chatot. But I wasn't gonna give away Tails. Hi, I'm the building's superintendent. I maintain a vigilant 24 hour watch. You also definitely should get some sleep at one point. Gardenia, it's him that goes out to it in the forest every so often. I always wonder what she does there. Probably train. Or other weird stuff that you do in the forest. I don't know. I've had these TMs for the most. move recycle for such a long time now. They're not anything that I have much use for these days. 
I do hope you'll put them to good use, young trainer. TM67... 76, of course. Well, and welcome... Boy, it's that's not the bag. Welcome to the barren wasteland that is my bag. I barely have anything. And that's okay that way. We got recycle. Uh, the user recycles a held item that has been used in the battle, so it can be used again. That's what recycle does. You probably will never see me use that. But we have it. There are some sparkling stones lying around in the Grand Underground. Cool. Gonna tackle that next time. I gathered up a lot of stickers, so I'm placing them on my ball capsules. I'm this close to being ready for the Super Contest show in Heath. Heart Home City or Hearth Home City. Whatever you think it should be. Badges from Jim so wins in Super Contest shows. There's more than just one way to be a winner, it seems. He's hoping you'll find something in which you can be the victor. Nothing, I guess. Hooray! My secret base just got another great! I don't have a secret base yet. I actually do, but you don't know that yet. So forget that I said anything. <clears throat> Let's go and... Let's go and see if there is... Yeah. Since you are visiting Eterna, you need to go get yourself a bike and take a ride down Cycling Road. I can't! The manager is not in. Going underground with the Explorer Kit is a blast, isn't it? Haven't done it, can't say anything about it. I have done it, I can't say anything about it. But you don't know that. Hmm, it's empty. Where is the Trick Master? That was the last Pokemon generation. It's probably not here. There's the gym. We're gonna skip that for the moment. There's a little bit more to explore up there. Like, for example, the Grand Underground Man. Oh. <clears throat> oh, is that the Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Roman. What's your name? Okay. Hello, Fanny-ish. Weird name you have there. I'll be sure to remember that name. Maybe without the ish in the future. My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately, just out of curiosity. Here in Eternal City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows, you may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using these. They should help you on your way out. Uh, on your way. TM93 nearly skipped my beat there. What are they? Mm, let's cut. Remember, you can use the hidden move cut from your pocket in the field. It will let you go places that were previously inaccessible to you. That's important for filling up your Pokedex, right? Then luck be with you, young trainer. Thanks, Cynthia. Also, can't do that yet. We still need the badge for that. Let's go in here and see what it is that you have for me. It's the herb store. Other mats work most impressively, but your Pokemon would like them. They're horribly <coughs> bitter and smelly. Got something in my throat felt like a fruit fly. Someone ought to invent herbal medicine that isn't bitter. That would be a medical breakthrough. Pretty sure they did something like this. Just an idea. Anyway. They say this is a Pokemon that lived long, long ago. There's some writing on the Pokemon statue. Hell, once created, brought forth the many dimensions. All things, alive or not, arrive at the same space. Such is the blessing of Pal. The text is barely legible and has faded completely in places. But thanks to my pal, we all have a place in space. I like that in the original versions... Sorry, nobody cared about that. Now you know how late it is when I record this. That's just to show how horribly awry everything has gone with that. Anyway, in the original versions, when it was sprite work... Sorry, needed to just recollect it in my mind. 
they actually use the same sprite for Palkia and Dialga. Which was really cool for that, because it could be interchangeable at this point. And here they also kind of go for that feel. But I don't know, I feel it's not working as 100% here. Because you have uh, the head, the chest and the front legs of uh, Dialga. And the legs, the shoulder pads and the tail from Palkia. So, well actually the tail could be interchangeable. No, wait. Does the Alga have a tail? It doesn't. Palkia has the tail. So, they, they kind of merged them together for this one. Which is also an interesting take for everything. Anyway, moving, moving ahead. Hey, you dear kid, stay away from the Pokemon statue. Team Galactic is conducting an official investigation here. You cannot stop me from looking at the statue. Fuck you. Eterna came to be long ago in, a, in honor of an ancient Pokemon. Though many things have changed, what is important is not. I hope it remains that way forevermore. Don't know why I gave him that kind of accent. Again, don't look at the time. It's kind of awkward. Have you seen the Pokemon statue? When I was a wee child, it used to be a centerpiece of many festivals. Again, don't know why I gave them those accents. They got him. We're gonna have to live with that now. Uh, there was just something up there. I technically, I wanna point it out, would not need to collect all of the items here because I cannot take them with me. But just for the sake of showing them off to you, I'm gonna collect them. Subat! Doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? No, it sounds like a Pokemon. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I also did not catch any new Pokemon, so I don't have to catch anything new as well uh, while we're running around here. I can just ignore everything. And if I actually run into something new, I'm not gonna catch it, because I wouldn't have it on a regular file in that case. So just be aware of that. There we go. The stats also will be complete garble here. I'm sorry about all of that. I did not mean for that to happen like this. But it did. Anyway, Flutish. Let's soup add these away. Soup at you. The good thing is, they're mostly the same. The moves that they have are the same. The names are same-ish. The stats are not too terribly diff different at this point in time. Just because of the sheer fact that it's early enough in the game where any big differences would not really make an uh, appearance. Later on this probably might hurt a little bit more. No, oh, so close, Fluth. Oh, my super tri stars! I'm sorry. They're not standing up against electricity that well. Uh, no, I have to ride Mon out for that. See how Mountain Granite towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. So, you also want to be a mountain. A mountain of a man. A mountain of a hiker. I can dig that. You wanna be a titan from Attack on Titan. That's terrifying and at the same time inspiring. Let's see... You probably just have a Geodude and an Onyx. The stand-up rock type tra uh, trainer Pokemon that you have apparently. Geodude and Onyx. Should sure, raise your defense, it's not like I do not care about it. Well, too bad I do not care about it. And punch. Goodbye, dude. It was nice meeting you. Blue fish got a level up. Again, don't pay too much attention to these stats. Because they are not what we actually work. Again, I'm sorry about everything that's going on here. And punch. So, for next week, I definitely need to remember that I actually show you the stats of the Pokemon. So that we are all set up for that. A powerful presence turns before me. That's you. Thank you. I'm trying my best here. 
<clears throat> we can ignore the cave here because there's nothing interesting in there that we can get. Wait, is that we need to check it out? I think. Oh, I needed to switch around. I'm an idiot. Look at these beautiful wings. Look at them. They have wings. They're birds. That's their nature. I guess. Alexandra sent out. <laughs> <laughs> Flame wheel. Since I did not switch anything around, I need to go for my type advantage moves there. It's not a type advantage, it's just my type boosted moves. And there you go. Oh, you. Yeah. I'm going to peck you for that. A peck is a kiss. They're gonna kiss me for that. Weird threat to make. TM12 taunt. I got TM12 taunt. Now we can taunt them. And in here was... Yeah, I could not get to that. Good, we can ignore this. No, wait, there was something in there that we could get. Was it on this rock? Yeah, a revive. Not like we really, really need that, but I got it in the playthrough. So I definitely need to get it right here as well. In the actual playthrough. I just want to try to be as close to what we, what I did. Uh, as, so that we are ending up in the same space essentially. So let's go and challenge the gym. Because that's the last thing that we're gonna do this episode. Hey there, how's it going champ to be? Actually that's what I said to the boy who zipped in here earlier too. The gym leader Gardenia is a use of grass type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. Oh, wait a second. I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can challenge it. You can't challenge a gym leader until you find and beat all the gyms, train trainers who fit in themselves. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as a good training and go for it. I'm going to think of it as a good training. I got in At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until they've beat all the other trainers. I'll be waiting for you in the back. Good luck, challenger. I like how this is actually a difference from the first gym that you uh, go into. Where they essentially let you bypass all of the trainers and you even get like a Wow, you actually challenged all of them and took the hard way instead of just skipping past them A uh, thing when you do that and here you can you, you have to take all of the fights you cannot skip past them And you're just gonna have to look around How did you know where to find me? That time for battle. I looked I have eyes these big eyes. My eyes are weird now. So this gym will be really stupidly easy. Like seriously. Because we have Camilla ish. And that means we can just go in there and flame wheel through all of them. No problem. No questions asked. And just be good. And we probably will get a level up. We will probably get at least two level ups, I think. We should probably end around level 24 before we go to the gym leader herself, to Gardenia. I would suspect. Which I think will put us in the same level that I'm at. I was going to beat you while you were still in a state of shock. Well, yeah, whatever. We're just gonna do whatever. Okay, the next train is at the end, past the two boulders. I think. Well, at the end, past the two boulders. I'll try my best. So, one boulder, two boulder, at the end, you're here. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. Well, if you can go first, then you might have a chance there. If you don't go first with any of your moves, I see uh, that you won't have that each of the time there to actually deal damage to me. And that's just because, you know, for lame wheel and stuff. I'm sorry, I started with the fire types Pokemon and so that's all I have really. My other Pokemon is a steel, uh, steel type, an electric type. So I can't really do anything good here with Fluth-ish. Or Fluth, general. But Fluth will come in handy later on. I love Fluth. 
Um, but I also can't wait till we finally get to catch uh, the next team member. Which I'm happy I didn't catch here. During this recording that I lost, because that would have sucked. Having to re-catch a team member and doing everything over like this, that would have been bad. And frustrating as well. But whatever. And there you go. Yeah, sorry. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. Kind of, yeah. And kind of, no. Oh, that's right. It's about the next trainer. In the middle of the, of three trees. That's it for my hand. Good luck. Yeah, you know, three trees. That's, that's really simple. It's not like there's five million trees around here anyway. Between three trees. See, those could be three trees. But no, I know where I need to head for that. But still, it's it's a really bad hint, if you ask me. Even when you try to conceal it, you can't hide the aroma of flowers. You actually can. It's not that difficult. Unless you have the flower right up at your nose. Because then, yeah. Then it's difficult. Hey, look at the little turd wig. It's gonna die. But... Other than that, concealing the smell of flowers is not too difficult. I've been in a few places that could conceal any good smell. Work related. And also in private at times. So still, yeah. Just like your um, inability to conceal your abundant skill. I only used flame wheel. It's not skill, it's just type advantage. Your next opponent is beside four flowers. But that seems like an easy enough statement for flowers. And also I know that I have to go up here. Hi there. <laughs> you found me. Of course I'll battle you. Thank you. If I wouldn't have battled me, I don't know what I would have done. It would have been really awkward because that way we wouldn't be able to actually challenge Gardenia. Hi there Rosalia. I'm gonna have to run you over with my flame wheel. I'm sorry. It's the law at this point. You're gonna get run over by my flame wheel. Thank you for being... Oh my... I don't even know if I have an anti dot. That's, that's the funny thing about all of this. Oh, boo! Look, you've beaten me! Yes, I did. That was also part of the exercise. <laughs> There's only a chimney the left. Go on. Don't be afraid. I'm not. I'm poisoned though. And I don't know what the heck I have. I have no... I have nothing. This... This file has nothing. I need... In that case, I need to actually go back and heal my team. And maybe buy some stuff. Again, this file has nothing. Like an absolute amount of... No. Of none. Yeah, it's just none there. Hi there. I'm here to buy. Uh, actually, give me just some super potions. Not 20 of these. Not like I will actually need them. And three of those. And I think I should be fine in that situation. Thank you very much for everything. I'm gonna go now. And again, since I'm here, let's just heal up the party at the Pokemon Center. I did not do this when I was recording because I just I was prepared for everything. I am so ill prepared with this uh, save file. Thank you very much. I'll come back at one point. That's for sure. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Hello, Gardenia. I'm back. Sorry. What is it? You kept me waiting. I'm Eternus Gym Leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So, anyway, this will be fun. Let's have a battle. Let's go, Gardenia. Bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. 
I'm ready to show you what I've got. That's gonna be the thumbnail, pretty sure. It's a derby! It's a cutie! So, let's just run the thing over. It has level 19, so here is the stuff with the higher levels. This is where stuff can become a little bit more scary. But not too much. Fluth, thanks for that level up. Fluth-ish, I should say. It's not Fluth, per se. Turtwig got run over by a flame wheel punk. I bonked it real good. And now, last but not least, it's not the end yet. It's a Roserade! So this one will probably be a little bit more of a... Oh, you actually went for Paralyzation. I was hoping you would go for... Well, that may suck a little bit, but not too much. I still have the type advantage and now you cannot poison me, which makes it actually a little bit more difficult for you to take me out. Are you saying something? You think you have the upper hand or something, because I did not read that fast enough. Grass Knot. Dangerous move! If Camilla-ish would be a little bit heavier. Because Grass Knot deals more damage the heavier your opponent is. And since Camilla is not that heavy, not the bigger deal. Anyway, gym leader done. And the level up. Beautiful. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? I like how happy she is that I won. I might have said it before, but you're real tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? Actually, no. This took a few hours, but that's about it. I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. Ish, in this situation. I recognize, in recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. Ta-da! You received the forest badge from Gardenia. With the forest badge, the hidden move cut will be available from your pocket. Now that you have two gym badges, all Pokemon received in trade will buy you up to level 30. Also, I've got something else for you. These are a gift from me. I got stickers from Gardenia, which I will not move and did also not move. TM86! <laughs> Each TM86 contains Grass Knot. It's one of my favorite moves. The heavier the opposing Pokemon, the more damage this move will cause. Thank you. I find it kind of weird how Grass Knot is stronger the heavier the opponent is. But also with fighting against something that is heavier, you would most likely go towards a Rock or a Steel type. And Steel type has a resistance towards Grass, so even if it would be stronger because of the heaviness, still wouldn't deal a lot of damage and the rock type already is weak to grass types making it also kind of mute in my point so i don't see grass not as one of the strong moves which is a shame because it could potentially be a good move but i don't see it as such well anyway i'm going to heal my team up really quickly and with my team i mean camilla ish and that's it because fluth did jack shit in this And then I'm going to leave this episode right here. Next time we're gonna pay a visit to the underground man and also do some other stuff. Hope you're looking forward to that and see you then. Bye.